Hey, hey. Now, is this blocking your view? I drove all the way here in my husband's pickup truck. <laughs> I'm not a very good driver, and I was really afraid the whole time I was driving. I know I'm not a bad, I'm, I'm a bad driver because I got stuck in a parking space in an almost empty parking lot. <laughs> I couldn't back out. <laughs> While I was shopping, they installed these little concrete things all over that parking lot. <laughs> I called my husband on the phone and I said, I can't back up out of the parking space. He said, if you can drive in, if you can pull in, you can pull out. <laughs> Just remember, if you can pull in, you can pull out. And I said, stop talking about sex and get me out of this parking space. <laughs> He's never ridden in the car with me. One time in our entire married life, once, he was having a kidney stone attack. <laughs> I thought it was a chance to show him what a good driver I was. I took the long way to the hospital. <laughs> but he let me drive his pickup truck to get here today. Great, big, macho, three-quarter ton, four-wheel drive. There's a limit to the amount of jostling a woman my age can tolerate. I peed all the way here. Thank heaven my seat cushion can be used as a flotation device. This great big macho truck. I could feel the hair on my chest grow. Of driving. The check engine light lit up. I ignored it. But then the gravy boat lit up. I just heard somebody yell, oil lamp. Oil lamp! When was the last time you saw anybody using a gravy boat for light? <laughs> Who designed the car anyway, Alibaba? <laughs> All of those little things on the dashboard are confusing. That first one, the sailboat. <laughs> There's the water and the mast and those little sails. What do you do if that lights up? Call the Coast Guard? The gas tank one, I got there. But there's the gravy boat. With that little bit of gravy dripping off its lip. And two speedometers. On one of which I'm going 400 miles an hour. Well, I happen to know that gravy boat means danger. So I pulled off the freeway into a gas station self-service. Nobody there but me and the guy in the convenience store. He's not coming out, is he? <laughs> My truck could burst into flames. He wouldn't come out. I could have been stark naked. Oh, well, nobody would come out. <laughs> so never mind that. I decided to check the engine. I opened up the lid of the truck, and it was there. I was really glad because I used to drive a Volkswagen and it wasn't there. <laughs> so then I decided I'll check the oil. I pulled out the dipstick thing, I wiped it off. I couldn't find where I'd gotten it. I am not kidding, the hole had healed. So I go into the convenience store. I open the door and the man yells, pump number. I said, well, there isn't any pump number. And he goes, oh, lady, there's a gas station. Gotta have a pump. I gotta have a pump number. But pump number. Well, I don't know. Nine and a half, usually. 
Obviously, this is a man that didn't speak English as a first language. So he looked at his name tag, tried to figure out where he was from. Maybe we could communicate. But I don't speak any other languages. Well, that's not true. I try to speak Spanish. We have a lot of Spanish-speaking people here. I try to speak Spanish. I just put an O in the end of my words. <laughs> Dippo Sticko. <laughs> I looked at this man's name tag. This is a man that needed to buy a vowel. So I decided to drive to another gas station where a customer could help me. But here's the problem. I needed one hand for the dipstick. <laughs> I needed the other hand for my Kleenex. Not that anything's wrong with me, I'm just old. It happens when you get old, look at grandma. She doesn't have a Kleenex in her hand, her sleeve, or her bra. She's dead. So I did the only thing I could think of. You'll do it. <laughs> Let's pretend for a minute we're on an airplane. You don't want anyone to sit next to you. <laughs> Before I learned this trick, I was sitting on a plane next to a woman that would not shut up. <laughs> We'd been in the air five minutes. I'd seen her hysterectomy scar. She turned to me and she said, what do you do? And I said, well, I, I'm an entertainer. She goes, are you a singer? And I said, no, I'm a stripper. <laughs> she said, well, you've been out of work a long time. <laughs> I'm driving like this, I got pulled over for drunk driving. Drunk driving. The policeman said, get out of the truck. I said, stick this somewhere. <laughs>